problem with that is if you slam on the brakes, the ones that aren't secured will shoot forward. They'll actually pierce the headache rack and come into the cab with you. Remember, when you're out there on the road, you're captain of your ship, you've got to make the right decisions to keep yourself safe. One of the keys to securing pipe is to make sure you've got down pressure on it. This is one of the most hazardous things you've got to watch on securement. This, this load is level across the top. The strap makes contact with everything here. This load is legally secured. But if you've got an extra piece here where this strap's elevated, you can get where you've got the pieces in the center right through here that aren't secured properly. The problem with that is if you slam on the brakes, the ones that aren't secured will shoot forward. They'll actually pierce the headache rack and come into the cab with you. Uh, you guys, everyone's seen the pictures of the loads that have done that. Steel pipe will do it just like the beam loads and things you've seen pictures of. Make sure you've got down pressure. Proper securement on everything you haul means you've got direct downward pressure from a tie down, from a block of dunnage, or from another piece of cargo. With the down pressure issues, this is one of the things you've got to get fixed before you leave the shipper. Yes, it's going to cost you time for your 14 hour clock for the day. It may take three or four hours to get reset, but the gamble of the other side of that is not worth it. It's an out of service violation, one, if DOT catches you, but these things can be lethal if they're not secured properly. So anything that you pull in a flatbed business will kill you if you don't do it right. You've got to pay attention to detail, see the problems, look for the problems, and get them fixed before you leave the shipper. You're the one that has to make that call. Report to your safety departments when you run into this issue. Let them help you fight that battle.